Uh, today, uh, I'm going to preaching about the uh, uh, the comment uh, that comes from the uh, one of my YouTube channel subscribers. Uh, I feel like uh, uh, this is one of the uh, very uh, good uh, subject uh, that we under uh, for us to understand the Bible uh, through the Greek and Hebrew text. So as you see on the screen here, and this is the comments. Uh, from one of the subscriber. When you find a woman, you become a man. That's why he says, leave mother and father to cleave to your wife. He never says, she cleaves to you. It in disorder because woman birth man and your wife will be your companion, instructor, to teach or guide you in manhood, which is responsibility and accountable, only comes when a man has a wife and children, biblical doctrine to help with more insight. And then another comment I put number three here, the Chinese are more my relatives than Arabs. I hope you are safe and well, my brethren, in the Chinese nation. Uh, here talking about the man and woman, and also using the Bible verses, man and woman leave mother and father. And also, number two, I put here, woman birth man. And then number three here, uh, the subscriber thought, I am the Chinese. I would like to answer number three first. I put on my uh, preaching note today here, I am an American. I'm from originally from South Korea. So, you know, people normally call Korean American. So, I'm an American. I'm a veteran. I served for the United States Army more than two decades. So, I'm a proudly to become an American. And also, I am living in North Carolina. So, which is an Eastern time in continental USA. So, if you visit to my blog and the YouTube channel, I left my uh, personal email address, also my blog address, so I can provide to anybody, everybody, so they can contact me, we can discuss about the Bible. So number three question is answered. Go back to number one and number two, man and woman, father and mother. Uh, when we think about those things, obviously, when we're looking at the Bible, we have to understand through the Old Testament in Hebrew, New Testament in Greek. Without understanding through original text, the rest of the Bible, it is all translated Bible. So people who are translated, it is their own thought, it is their own opinion. It can be, right? Unless you personally confirm that verse from the Hebrew and Greek text. Until that moment, until that time, the knowledge and the uh, understanding that you have from the Bible, how can you know Greek and Hebrew text agree what you think and what you believe? That's why it is critical. People who believe the Bible as the word of God, understand the Bible, has to be through the Hebrew text and Greek text. We call that is the original text. So man and woman, father and mother has to understand also through the Hebrew and Greek text. And understanding about that, I put one diagram here. And the subject that I put this one is the first Adam, the second Adam, the son of the man faced, which is we call the, the son of the man. The man faced means andropos in Greek text, Greek word. And those are all talking about what? I always repeatedly say that, right? About my status. About the things happening inside me in my life. Also, all those things not only happening inside me in my life, those are all my what process? Physical process or spiritual process? Obviously, spiritual process, right? So then, 
man and woman, father and mother, we have to understand not the physical, isn't it? And then when we talk about man and woman, as you see on this diagram, and then Adam, which is the name is the Adam, and then the female's name is the Hava, Hava. And then Adam in the English Bible translated as man. Not only they translated Adam, but also they translated as man. So until we looking at the Hebrew Bible, how can we know Adam is man, man is Adam? Which one is it? And when we go to the New Testament, the Adam is shown as the Andropos. So today's subscribers comment, man will leave. The man is not the man that is shown in the Aner in the Greek text here. That is the Andropos, which means all human being, breathing creature. And then Hava, Hava is the female name, which is a hoping mediator, life mediator. That's what it means in Hebrew alphabet meaning, hoping the life mediator. So woman is the one hoping the life mediator. Who can be the life mediator? Second Adam, who is my Lord from heaven, isn't it? And then it turns out in the New Testament, the name is the Maria. About that one, last Sunday, the Sunday before, we were talking about the Mary, Maria, which means rebellion. By adding the Joseph to the rebellion, so we rebel against the God. Now we transform to become Maria to rebel against the Satan, isn't it? So that's the name of Maria. And the Hagia here says the Hagia means holy. Okay? We become the holy human being. So the Adam and Haba is not a different entity. It is a different name. They're talking about my status. I become the Adam. I become the Haba throughout my salvation process, entire my life. And then the man and woman is the role. So man, Hebrew word is a Isha. Ah, Ishi, Ishi. And then that comes to the New Testament. The man, this man is the Aner, which means adult. Adult man is the Aner, who are able to marry with woman, right? So Aner translate either man or husband in English translated Bible. And then the Hebrew name, Hebrew word is Ishi. Ishi means fire. So man is the fire. Yehovah is the fire, isn't it? That is the man. And then the another one, woman. Woman's name in Hebrew is the Isha. Isha. Isha means hoping ish. What is the ish? Aner. Hoping man. Hoping fire. Hoping Yehovah. That is the woman. If you are the one hoping fire, if you are the one hoping man, then you are Isha. But when you become an adult man, you are able to deliver the word of God, then you are the Ishi. You are become the fire. Yehovah is the fire, right? And then as a function, I put here male and female, right? Male is the Chakar. Chakar, when we come to the New Testament Bible, Chakar is the Aren. Which is different from the aner though. Okay? And then the female is the nekeba. Nekeba comes to the New Testament Bible, delis. Delis is the female. But male and female, when we come to the New Testament Bible, sometimes RN uses as a male, sometimes RN translates as a man. So it all mixed up. That's why. Unless we look in each single verse, they show the Adam, Haba, Ishi, Isha, Jakar, and Nekeba. On the New Testament Bible, Aner, Kine, Aren, Delius. Unless we looking at from the Hebrew and Greek text, English Bible is all mixed up. 
They translate male sometimes. They translate as husband. They translate as man. They translate as female. They translate as wife. They translate as woman. All different way. It is the choice of the what then? Translator's choice, right? Depends on their knowledge level, right? So, before I start to do today's preaching, I just introduce you how many different words is used and how many different ways the translator is translating English Bible. That's why it is critical. It is important to understand Bible through Greek and Hebrew text. Our Stowers Bible Academy and Chamden Church provide that study. So you will have a full, correct understanding about the Bible. People who want to become a man of God. People who want to become a children of God. People who want to become a last era. People who want to possess the eternal life. Very, very critical and important part. So go back to the uh, the subscriber comment. Number one, he says, he says, leave father and mother and father to cleave to your wife. There it says, leave, but we are not leave, okay? Who left the father and mother? Adam. When we talk about Adam, we have to think about, is that the first Adam, second Adam, or last Adam? Last Adam is the one who left the father and mother. But when I become a last Adam, who become one with Christos Jesus, with the father, we all combine, we all become one. We never leave. Are you going to leave forsaken your father and mother? Yes, physically, it looks like it, right? When we get married, physically, right? But Bible does not say in that way. I would like to show it to you, okay? That's why, we do not leave father and mother when we become a Christian, but become one. Father is in me, I am in father, through the Son, Christos Jesus. It says, John 14, 20. Let's go there first. John 14, 20. Here talking about Start from 19. A little while longer, the world will see me no more. But you will see me because I live, you will live also. Talking about Christos Jesus is crucified and then went to the going, going to the Father, right? And then verse 20, at that day, this is a wrong translation, the preposition. It is not at that day. If you look at that, and ekene tehemera. In that day, right? In that day. You will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, I in you. What is in means? Already become one status, isn't it, right? So, Father is in Christos Jesus. Christos Jesus is in the Father. I am in Christos Jesus. Christos Jesus is in me. We all become one. That called Trinity process, I say there, right? The current, the modern Christian, they believe, Father, Son, Holy Spirit as a trinity, isn't it? That's the wrong understanding about the Bible. Bible is trinity process talking about 1st John chapter 5, verse 6, 7, 8. It's talking about three witnesses in the heaven, three witnesses on the earth, in the earth. And then that heaven and earth to become one. That means at that day means seven day. Seven day when I become a last Adam, life-giving spirit, Father, Son, myself. We all become one. So I can become what then? Existence. Whoever show the Father. Whoever show you, they have to see the Father, right? When you become one with Christos Jesus in Father. That happened in that day. That happened in the seventh day. So we never leave father and mother. But for Steram, yes, he left the father and mother. That's why he's not able to get the lifeline. He's not able to get the eternal life from the mother and father, right? Until I return to father and mother. That's why about that, 
about that. Jesus talking Matthew 9, 19, 5 about the verses. Let's go there. Matthew 19, 5. And says, for this reason, a man shall leave his father. Look at here. Shall leave is the Greek word is a katalepo. You know what the kata means? Down. Lepo is left. Left down, right? Which is left behind, okay? And then this man is a andropos, which called the false theram. So false theram, left down. Which means, say father, right? Say mother. You know, the Peter, Peter did it, right? Peter said to his father, right? When he was called by Christos Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. So say bye-bye. Katalepo, left behind. That's what it means, left behind. English translate leave, but left behind. Father and mother be joined to his wife, and two shall become one flesh. And then question mark, right? Here. But on the Greek text, it's not text uh, question mark. It is the period. Okay. We keep on going. Same verse. Mark 10, 7. And then 6 says, From the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. This is correct translation. Male and female is the correct. Okay. Male is the aren. The list, right? Male and female, which is I am consists of male function, female function. Okay, that's what it means. And in the future, when we study about male and female, I'm going to explain more detail what is the meaning of the male and female. For this reason, man shall leave his father and mother, be joined to his wife, and two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Keep in mind here, for this reason, what is the Greek word here? And it can, right? And it can, because of this. Because of this, right? Mm -hmm. Because of this, man shall live. Because male and female, because of this, okay? About this one, Apostle Paul using the different preposition. We are looking at that. I highlight here as you see Ephesians 5.31. What is the Greek word to say here? Anti tutu. You see here? Anti tutu. Okay? Anti tutu, not this reason. Okay? We are going to look at the Ephesians 5.31. Ephesians 5.31. Start from 30, for we are members of his body. When we talk about members of his body, we are members of his body. His is the Christ, okay? We are members of Christ's body. Body is the soma. Soma comes from the sojo, verb. Sojo means to save. This is a saved body, okay? Which is the resurrection body. Of his flesh and of his bone. You see, of, of is out of, ek. Out of the flesh, out of his flesh, okay? So flesh is the one that has to what? Crucify. We're going to look at that. Galatians chapter 5, 24. The flesh has to be crucified. So out of the flesh means what? Out of the crucifixion. So you can have the saved body, isn't it, okay? And out of the, out of his bones. What is the bone means? When we go to the Hebrew, the bone means strong, okay? So, we are out of this strong, okay? And then, for this reason, this is the critical wrong translation, okay? Anti tutu. What is anti means to you? When you say Christ, people call what? Anti? Christ, right? What is anti? Anti means to you in English. Oppose, right? Opposite side, right? When we go to look at the dictionary, 473, anti means what? Opposite. That's 
why they put instead, okay? It is not because. This is not the right one, okay? And then here it says, used in composition to denote contrast, requiter, substitution, correspondence. So, Antichrist means what? He is almost the same level as the Christ, isn't it? That's why different Jesus, different gospel, different spirit. They are talking about that, right? Antichrist is the same equitable level of the Christ, right? And then substitution. Antichrist substitute the Christ, right? Mm -hmm. So it has to translate as opposed to or instead, okay? So instead of this, okay? Because though when I become a member of Christos Jesus' body, we do not live, okay? We become one already Christos Jesus. We become one with father and mother, okay? That, but the fourth theorem, fourth theorem is what? Instead of this, opposed to this. Under opposed, fourth theorem will left down. Left down, left behind. Who? The father, his father, and mother. Right? Mm -hmm. And then he will cleave. This is a cleave she's translating as, right? Pro proleo. It is bonded, right? Like a chemical reaction, right? Forward to the woman, his, his woman, right? And he will exist two into one flesh, right? So, first that I'm left the father and mother. But last that I'm, we do not live, okay? We all become one as the life giving spirit. That's why 32 says, this is a great mystery. That's why this is a mystery. Force that I'm never knew about that. Force that I'm never thought about that. Why? They only understand the Bible physically, not the spiritually. Also, they don't know about the seven days processing. Right? So, this is a great mystery. One mystery. Woman becomes man. Man becomes with Christos Jesus, one, and then Christos Jesus and Father becomes all one. We are going to look at that, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, soon. That's the great mystery, isn't it? Okay. So, we as a Christian who crucify together, who resurrect together, we do not leave the father and mother, okay? We are doing the father's role, we are doing the mother's role. You can become the father, you can become the son, you can become the mother. Bible is all talking about my status, my situation. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself. Let the wife see that she respect her husband. So now we know antitude to his name. First man, Adam, is doing left down his father and mother. But Great mystery, whoever understanding the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, based upon Matthew chapter 13, say that you will be given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, mystery of the kingdom of heaven, but to them, to the multitude, the Bible still closed the book. So they all become forced, that one becomes what? Exist for one flesh. About that one, the Hebrew text talks about Lepasar Echad. Let's go to Genesis 2.24. Therefore, man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. This is a wrong translation also. And then they also translate shall leave. When you look at the leave, Ajab. Ajab not only leave, more detail, when we go to the dictionary, the strong number is 5800. Hebrew, 5800. Lucent, right? Mm -hmm. When you go to BDB, depart from, left behind. Left behind is a katalepo in the Greek word, we just say that. Left down, left, uh, left behind. And then, left shaken, repair, repair, another world, and then deserted, right? Mm -hmm. 
So they don't care about father and mother. Okay? Forced Adam does not care. Okay? It forsake. Left alone. Okay? Whatever you go to senior care or not, I don't care. I am the man. Okay? I have a wife. I have a children that I need to take care. Then what is the respect father and mother means? We are going to look at soon when we're talking about mother and father, right? So, Hebrew text is talking about so left, forsaken, left behind, and then they have existed. You see, B-Q-A-C-Z-P, it is a perfected. Hebrew only has an imperfect and perfect status. So, they perfected. Who are they? Man and woman, right? First Adam and Eve, right? They have existed, existed for what purpose? You know, they don't put the preposition, they don't translate it. They just say become one flesh. They has existed. They has become for one flesh, one flesh. That's why flesh has to what? Has to be crucified. That's why I put Galatians 5.24, the flesh portion has to be crucified portion. Galatians 5.24. Galatians 5.24, before we go down 24, they are talking about the spirit and flesh. You know, when you talk about 24 here, those who are Christ, those who become a Christian, those who possess by Christ, have crucified what? Crucify the flesh. That's why when we go to the Roman chapter 8, flesh is the thought of death. First Adam is intending to death when we go to the Roman chapter 5. So flesh has to be crucified with its passion and desire. And then resurrect together as a new man, right? As a new man, right? That's why forced Adam exist for one flesh, right? And forced Adam and Eve exist one flesh, but last Adam exists as what then? One spirit, right? That spirit is the life-giving spirit, right? First Corinthians chapter 15 say that. That's why we do not live. Once I become a Christian, Christian means once I anointed. Once I have a wisdom of God, power of God, based on the first Corinthians chapter 1, we do not leave the father and mother. We become one with all together. All my body member, member of my body, becomes all together for one purpose. What is that one purpose? Life-giving spirit. Giving the life. Giving the God's life. So number one is done then. So we do not leave mother and father, okay? And number two. Number two, you're talking about woman, but man. This is a wrong understanding. This is a mistake. Woman, but child, not the man, right? So child is the technon, which is a neural now. Man is the masculine noun, which means ane, okay? Different word. Mm -hmm. That's why man has to bring forth the child. Where is say that? I put it here, 1 Timothy 2, 11, 15. We're going to look at that, okay? How man become a woman? Uh, how woman become a man? Not man become a woman, though, okay? We're going to look at that one. So, woman versus child. Not a man. Mary, Maria, rebellion that we learned from the last Sunday. Mary bring forth the son that says the son, but there is no, there is no such as child over there too. I already explained from the previous sermon. Okay. So woman received the Lord of the angel, Lord of the messenger, received what? Out of the Holy Spirit, right? Which is a hurema, utterance word from the mouth of God. So rebellion, Mary, bring forth the son, whose name is Jesus, right? That Jesus is the baby son, not the adult man, right? That's why woman births child. So woman has to become a man by bringing forth the child, right? 
That's why woman through the man, okay? Not man through the woman. Let's go to look at the 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Imitate me just as I also imitate Christ. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the traditions just as I deliver them to you. But I want you to know, this is the one I want you to know, that the head of every man is Christ, the head of a woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. What is our salvation process? I start as a man or start as a woman? I start as a woman. Head of woman is what? Head of woman is man. When woman becomes the knowledge same as the head of the man, then you become what? Woman become what? Man, okay? And then man grow up to reach to the what? The Christ, right? And Christ reach to what? The God Father, right? That is the salvation process. That is my salvation process, right? I start as man, uh, as a woman, okay? As a woman. That's why when we go to verse 9 here, start from 8, man is not from woman, okay? Woman bring forth the child to become what then? Man, okay? Start from the woman, not man start from man, man become the woman, okay? So man is not from woman, but woman from man. Nor was a man created for the woman, but woman for the man. For this reason, the woman ought to have a symbol of authority on her, on her head because of the angel. Messenger. Messenger. Nevertheless, neither is man independent of woman, nor woman independent of man in the Lord. As woman came from man, okay? Even so, man also comes from woman, but all things are from God, okay? That's why if you listen to my YouTube channel, I was explaining about all living, right? All living becomes what? Woman. Woman becomes what? Man. Man becomes what? One with Christ. Christ is one with Father in God, right? Those are all my salvation process. So watch out my YouTube channel. That I was preaching about all livings, okay? All livings. That's why woman through the man, okay? Woman has to become the man, okay? Paul, he is the man. What is he doing when he becomes man? 2 Corinthians 11, 2 to 5. I am jealous for you with godly jealousy, for I have betrothed to you to one husband, that I may present you as a chest virgin to Christ. So this woman, who is the adulterer, adulteresses, based upon the James chapter 4, that adulterer, adulteresses has to meet who? This man. Who is this man? Apostle Paul. About the Apostle Paul, I was put it on my blog yesterday. When you go to my note, Apostle Paul is the grace, mercy, peace. That is the apostles who deliver the grace, peace, and mercy. When you meet this, this man, when you meet this last era of Apostle Paul like that, you receive the grace. You receive the mercy. You are receiving the peace. Without meeting that person, you don't receive that. That way, adulterer, adulteress becomes a chaste virgin. So this man is the mediator between the woman and the Christ. I fear least somehow as a serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he who comes preach another Jesus, preach different spirit, preach different gospel. I consider that I am not at all inferior to the most eminent apostles. 
So there is apostles and false apostles, right? False apostle preaching the another Jesus, different spirit, different gospel. But true man, like Apostle Paul, perfect man, he is preaching the Jesus, gospel, true spirit, Holy Spirit, and then betrothed you to one of them who is Christ. That's why this woman, this woman, Mary, rebellion, needs to go through who? To meet the one husband Christ. Apostle Paul, right? That's why I go back to above there says what it says there. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. This is a second Corinthian. Messenger, right? Angelos. Apostle Paul is the messenger. The woman has to have the messenger as authority above you, above the woman, right? Let's go to the first Timothy 2, 11 through 15. Then who are the woman? Woman is the learner. If you are the learning to understand the Bible, you are the woman. Okay? When you come to the church first time in your life, you are the woman. You hear from your pastor or elder or Bible teacher, whoever's in the in the church, right? Oh, this is a way to the tithe. This is a way we meet 10 o'clock every Sunday. Every Bible study is a Wednesday, 7 o'clock. This location, that location. Who is that person? That person is your man, okay? That you need to follow, right? That's why woman of Samaria, when she met the Christos Jesus, what conversation was going on? Bring your husband. Jesus said it, right? What is the woman of Samaria said? I have no husband. Then what Jesus said? You are well say that. You have a five husband. The husband that you have now is not your husband. And Bible doesn't say that. But it has to say what? I am your husband. I am your permanent husband, right? Like Apostle Paul just say that. I betroth to you. Present you as a chaste virgin. Transformed from the adulteresses to marry with the one husband whose name is Christ Jesus. So you met a lot of husbands until you met the second Adam, Christos Jesus. We call, we meet the Christos Jesus among the seven days. What day are we meeting? Sixth day. They call the today. Today. We're going to study about that in the future. So we start as a Christian life, not as a man, but as a woman. Woman is the learner. Let's go look at the 1 Timothy 2.11. 1 Timothy 2.11. Woman learn in silence with all submission. Yes. Because woman is the learner. You see? Mantano. Mantano is the verb, which means learn. Woman is the one who learn. Like I just mentioned, when you come to the church, Someone gonna teach you. Oh, this is the time we're supposed to do this one. This is a location, the location happening, Bible study, or all different types of activity. You listen from the man, right? So again, Bible is the spiritual book. Woman does not mean who wear the skirt. Man does not mean who wear the trousers, okay? It is the status. Are you the role of man? Or are you the role of woman? Okay? So woman is the one who is supposed to learn. I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man, but to be in silence. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived by receiving from the serpent, another Jesus, different spirit, different gospel. We just saw that, right? Nevertheless, she will be saved. How can she be saved? What is the saving for the woman? To become a man, okay? To become a man. So how many save process we have to go through then? That's why when we go to Hebrew chapter 1, they are talking about grace salvation, grace salvation. 
So then, if we say great salvation, is there a less greater salvation? Because salvation is the process, not just one-time deal. So based upon our seven-day process, great salvation starting from when then? Today, six day. If you are belong to one day, you have to move to what? Second day. There is no salvation for the one day, right? Second day, move to the third day. There is a salvation from to become a third day, right? Salvation to become the fourth day. Salvation to become the fifth day. Salvation to become the seventh day, right? There is the grace salvation. That's why how this woman will be saved in childbearing. By bringing forth the child, that is the baby Jesus. And then last Sunday sermon, what is the meaning Maria bring forth baby child, baby Jesus then? Totally you have the new understanding, right? You receive the new knowledge about the Bible, right? So book of death to become the book of life, isn't it? That is the meaning of Jesus is born inside you. Spiritual process. Same thing. Mary will be saved by bring forth what? Baby Jesus. If they continue in faith, love, holiness. We have to keep on continuing this process, right? One day through, seven day, whole process is what? Faith, faith, hope and love process, right? And holiness with self-control. So woman is the one who learn, who learn, okay? Mantano, mantano. That's why mantano to learn when it becomes the noun, matetes. Let's go to the Matthew chapter 5, verse 1. Seeing the multitude, Jesus went up on a mountain. When he was seated, his disciples came to him. Look at the, his disciple. Disciple is the matetes. Matetes, English or translate disciple. When we go to Strong Dictionary 3101, what is a matetes means? Learner. And King James translates as disciple. So woman is the learner. Then disciple is the one? Learner. Then what is the relationship between disciple and Jesus among here in here, Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 then? Disciple is the woman. Jesus is the man. How come disciple, as his subscribers comment, how come disciple then, how disciple birth? Jesus, man, perfect man, right? That's why woman is the learner, and by learning the word of God, then woman becomes man. This man is the one woman of Christ. Woman of Christ. That's why 1 Corinthians 14.34 also talking about woman keeps silence in the churches. 1 Corinthians 14.34 Your woman keeps silent in the churches for they are not permitted to speak. They are too submissive as the law also says. As if they want to learn something, let them ask their own husband at home, for it is shameful for women to speak in church. Or did the word of God came originally from you? Or it was you? Was it you only that it reaches? I heard some, some denomination. Their rule is only man can become the ordained pastor. So they are understanding the Bible physically. But so far, what the Bible is talking about, woman and man. Woman is the one who's learning. Right? And the man is the one who is teach. Apostle Paul is the teacher, right? Who give you the knowledge of God. So the woman, chaste virgin, can marry with Christos Jesus. So Apostle Paul is a woman of Christos Jesus already then, isn't it? That's why he's able, he's the man to be able to teach to the woman, right? Mm -hmm. 
So, how can woman become man? I just say that, right? Mm -hmm. Through the learning process, right? Mm -hmm. Through the learning process. That's why disciple is the woman. Christos Jesus is the man, the teacher. When we go to the Matthew 9.15, they have a wrong translation. That's why I put it here. Sons of wedding hall, sons of bride of room. Who are these sons? They translate as friend. These are the son the disciple is talking. Okay? And then they are the wedding hall to marry with who then? Christ, Jesus Christ. Let's go there. Matthew 9.15. Start from 14. The disciple of John came to him and said, Why do we the Pharisee fast open, but your disciple do not fast? The law and the prophet is until the John, right? John is the last person in the fifth day. Christus Jesus is born in the sixth day. When I'm preaching uh, John chapter 1, verse 6, I'm going to talking about John because verse 6 is showing the John, okay? So, the understanding about the fast between the John and the Pharisee and the Christos Jesus is totally different understanding. Okay? So they are talking about fast anyhow. Anyhow, when we come to 15, Jesus said to them, Jesus said to who? Those learners of John, right? Can the friend of the bridegroom, look at the friends. Can the friend, you see here, Hioi, Hios, right? And King James translates children, you King James translates friend. But Hioi is the plural form of the Hios. Hios is the son. Disciple is the son. When we get into the sixth day, when Christos Jesus is born inside me, my status becomes the son. From what? What status? Slave. Galatians chapter 1, chapter 4, verse 1. Slave transformed to become a son. By receiving the spirit of his son. Okay? When the fullness time has come. So, can the sons of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come. Seven days will come. The bridegroom will be taken away. Bridegroom will leave. Crucifixion is talking about. From them, from the sons, from the disciple, And then they will fast. So, the fasting time is the time when they become the seventh day man. Perfect man, perfect man. That's why they are needs to wait for the connected message. English translated as the promise, but how woman who is the disciple, who is in the wedding hall, can become a man when we go to the act Chapter 1, verse 4. Uh, after Jesus crucified, after his suffering crucified, being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and being assembled together with the disciple, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem. What is the meaning of Jerusalem? I say a couple of times, right? Jerusalem, Hierusolima in the Greek pronunciation, teaching of peace, peace te peaceful teaching, right? So do not depart from the teaching of peace. Wait for the promise. Promise is the Epangelia. Epangelia is not promise again. Epi, Angelia, connected message. That bring by the Apostle Paul, like a last era. So, connect to the message of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me. John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit many days from now. So, receiving the connected message, receiving the peaceful teaching is when? Holy Spirit and fire baptism is there. So, by receiving the connected message, which means by going through the Holy Spirit and fire baptism, woman transformed to become what? Man. 
Man is the one who received the connected message. Man is the one who knows the Bible through Greek and Hebrew text, understanding whole seven days processing, Bereshit para Elohim, et hashamayim be'et ha'aret, understanding the Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, who's able to teach as a perfect man, so that woman who's learning from this man to marry with Christos Jesus, bring forth the baby Jesus to become a perfect man. That's why when we go to the chapter 2, when the days of Pentecost has fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind. It filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire. You have tongues of what? You have tongues of serpent. You are preaching the gospel of peace or you are preaching the gospel based upon the historical viewpoint. Until the fifth day, until the day of John, understanding fast is different, right? Same thing, understand the or Bible different from the fifth day and sixth and seventh day, isn't it? So fourth and fifth day, sixth and seventh day is divided. Your tongue is divided. So you have only one tongue. Two tongues, serpent tongue and God's tongue becomes one tongue as one God's tongue. So you are able to speak the word of God clearly. So you are not prophesying in part anymore. You prophesy perfectly, right? And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. This other tongue is what tongue then? New tongues, new understanding, new knowledge. This is the mouth comes from the grammar word that comes from the mouth of God. Your mouth is not human being's mouth anymore. You as a last Adam are able to speak in the grammar word, understanding, explain the word of God. Then you are going to save others. That's why when you are a woman, you need to wait for connected message, right? Then you become a perfect man. Ephesians 4.13 Till we all come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man. Perfect man in Greek word is the anerteleos. When you become a perfect man, your knowledge, your faith is the same as who? Son of God, who is the Christ Jesus. We should no longer be children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of man in the cunning craftiness of disciple plotting. So you become a woman, start from the woman, become a perfect man. You have the same knowledge, same faith, because you become one with Christus Jesus. Then you are able to fast, right? You are able to fast. Fast is not just not to eat the food, okay? When we go to the Isaiah 58, 6, Prophet Isaiah 58, 6, talking about what is the fast means, not the concept of fast of John and the Pharisee. 6. Is this not the fast that I have chosen, Jehovah chosen fast, to lose the bond of wickedness? This is a work of the last that of life-giving spirit, to undo the heavy burdens. Who give you heavy burden? Pharisee Sadducee, when we go to Matthew chapter 23. They sitting in the Moses seat to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke. It is not to share your bread with the hungry, feeding, right? You bring your house to poor who are cast out. When you see the naked, that you cover him, giving the garment of Christ, not hide yourself from your own flesh. Then your light shall break forth like the morning. You become the light. 
Your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. About this one, when we go to Matthew 25, 34, and 40, talking about righteousness. Because God divided, king divided, right side is the sheep, left side is goat, right? And that is talking about the fasting process. So man is the one who are able to fast. Fast means man is the one who are able to feed and give, okay? Man is the one who is able to love your neighbors. That is the loving, giving the word of God. Now let's go to look at the then, who are the father and mother in the Bible. When we go to the Ephesians 6 2, not only Apostle Paul is talking about that, but also in the Gospel of four Gospel, Jesus is talking about respect or honor your parents' is name. I mentioned before why Bible needs to repeatedly say that. That we learned already when I was in the kindergarten and elementary level, right? You don't have to become a Christian to respect your father and mother. You already learned. You're supposed to do that, whether you are Christian or not. Whether you are the Muslim, whether you are the Buddhist, whether you are whatever case may be. Aren't you supposed to respect your father and mother? Again, Bible does not need to repeat if there is understanding of father and mother. Then, Father and mother, obviously in the Bible, is spiritual meaning, okay? Spiritual meaning. When we go to the Ephesians 6, 2, Apostle Paul say that, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. You see, this is a wrong translation with, Honor your father and mother, See here, honor your father, mother, which is first commandment. Isn't that first commandment is the uh, love your father, love your mother? Is that the first commandment? But Apostle Paul here say that the first commandment is the honor your father and mother. Where? Not with, right? In connected message. When do we receive connected message? I just say that when we receive the Holy Spirit and fire baptism, isn't it? Then when I become the Jerusalem, they're talking about book of Revelation chapter 21, you heaven and earth, you holy city in Jerusalem, right? I become the chest virgin of the Christos Jesus to become one, right? Then I am the one who are the father and mother in connected message. That father, that mother, you need to respect. You need to honor. Okay? So, about the detail, when we go to the Hebrew, chapter 12, verse 9, is talking about the father. Let's go to Hebrew 12, 9, New Testament. Hebrew 12, 9. Uh, we start from the uh, 7. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with the son. For what son is there whom a father does not chasten? If you are without chastening, which of all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate and not son. So how can I become a son? How can I become legal? How can I become a partner for well, we have to receive in the chastening isn't it furthermore we have had human fathers who corrected us and we pay them respect shall we not much more readily be in subjection to the father spirit with the leave they indeed for a few days chastens us as seemed to best to them but he for our profit we may be partaker of his holiness you know, English translate as the chastening, okay? Chastening. The Greek word is a paideia. You look at here, 3809. Paideia. 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 Paideia.
paideia. Father is the one who provides paideia. 3809. 3809. So paideia is a tutorage. Tutorage, i.e. what? Education or training by implication disciplinary correction. So who are the father? Provide you education, provide you training, right? So you can become the father, right? Mm -hmm. So father is the trainer. Father is the educator, right? And we're supposed to respect. So by receiving that education and training, you will do the same, you as a father, right? Then what is mother? Who is the mother? We go to the Galatian 4.26. Galatian 4.26. Uh, here talking about the uh, uh, 22, it is written that Abraham has two sons, the one by a bond woman, other by a free woman. Uh, bond woman was born according to the flesh that has to be crucified, right? He of the free woman through, oh, not the promise. Free woman is what? Connected the message. How can I become a free woman? How can I become a mother? Through connected the message. Right? These things are symbolic, okay? It is not the physical things, okay? These are the two covenants. The one from Mount Sinai, which gave birth to bondage, which is Hagar. Mount Sinai received the Ten commandment. Where? Into your heart or into the stone? You have a stone head, okay? Those are written on the paper, okay? You don't have understanding. And then about this mountain Sinai, when we go to the Act chapter 7, verse 38, 39 on that place, talking about the Moses in the mountain Sinai, and Moses and Israelite, they are in the wilderness church, right? And wilderness church start from the fourth day. When you start to become a Christian, when you start to go to the church, first time in your life, then you are going to Mount Sinai. Because you separate from where? Egypt. Then what is Egypt? Who is Egypt? When we go to the Isaiah chapter 31 verse 5, Isaiah chapter 31 verse 5 is talking about Egyptian is the man, not the God. Why you across the, across the Red Sea? Why are you baptized? To become a son of God, right? To become the son of man, right? Then son of God, son of man is the not human being anymore. Because you are going to become a what? La steram, life-giving spirit. You are going to become the spirit, not the flesh. Flesh has to be crucified. So as long as you are still in the mountain Sinai, you are starting the church life, right? And then Mount Sinai in Arabia corresponded to Jerusalem, which now is. This Jerusalem is the fifth day church. So you start the fourth day wilderness church, fifth day Canaan church, which is now is Jerusalem. And it's bondage, still bondage with your children. But the Jerusalem above, that is talking about, I just mentioned, you heaven and earth, you holy city, you Jerusalem. New peaceful teaching. Who become the chaste virgin Mary with Christos Jesus? Apostle Paul is the last term. He is the new Jerusalem. He received the Holy Spirit and fire baptism. When you do the same, you are the new Jerusalem. You are the one who become one with Christos Jesus. You are the one Jerusalem above. You are the free man. You are the mother. The mother means in the Hebrew is Am. Am means cubit. You embrace the children, cubit, you give up breast milk to the baby. You are the mother. Then you are feeding the baby with what? Gospel of peace, right? The gospel of peace is what? Epangelia connected to message seven days, your salvation process, which is the spiritual process, right? Then you are the mother. New Jerusalem. That's the father and mother, okay? So all these things is Bible talking about my salvation history. And Bible showing us, teach us 
where I am. Am I in the one day? Am I in the second day? Am I in the third day? Am I in the fourth day? Am I in the fifth day? Am I in the sixth day and seventh day, right? People who start the church life, you are getting into the fourth day. Then you are become the teacher at the church, which is fifth day canon church, right? But that is the peaceful teaching, but not new peaceful teaching, isn't it? Because Jesus is not born yet inside you. You have to become a Mary on the sixth day, bring forth the baby Jesus. Growing together, you become the perfect man, crucified together, resurrect together. On the seventh day, you become the last Adam by receiving the Holy Spirit and fire baptism. Those are all my processing. But what is the fourth Adam status? He left mother and father. He left the connected message. He left the trainer and educator. He lost. He lost his navigation. He doesn't know how to come to Star Wars Survivor Academy. He's not willing to study Greek and Hebrew. He just feels safe and peace. He just satisfies the knowledge of what you, even without knowing the connected message. So those are the ones we have to reach. The goal is to become a last Adam. Last Adam is the father. Last Adam is the mother. Last Adam is the life-giving spirit. So we all need to become a perfect man before we finish our physical life. Amen? Amen.